Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل اللقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه رب هب لي حكما وألحقني بالصالحين الله the Lord the glorious الله the one who was before everything and the one who will be after everything, the creator of everything, says in the Holy Quran, قُلِ اللَّهُمَّ مَالِكَ الْمُلْكِ تُؤْتِ الْمُلْكَ مَنْ تَشَاءُ وَتَنْزِعُ الْمُلْكَ مِنْ مَنْ تَشَاءُ وَتُعِزُّ مَنْ تَشَاءُ وَتُذِلُّ مَنْ تَشَاءُ بِيَدِكَ الْخَيْرِ إِنَّكَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ He says in the Holy Quran, that, O Prophet, O Messenger, and all the followers of truth, go and make an announcement. Make an announcement that the government belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. قُلِ اللَّهُمَّ مَالِكَ الْمُلْكِ He is the one who holds the leadership, the kingdom of the whole world. قُلِ اللَّهُمَّ مَالِكَ الْمُلْكِ He is the king of kings. تُؤْتِ الْمُلْكَ مَنْ تَشَاءُ It is his choice that he gives, he he may want to allot the leadership, the kingdom, the government to whoever he wants. And he is the one, he may take back the allotment of this government, the allotment of this government, the allotment of this kingdom, from whoever he wants. وَتُعِزُّ مَنْ تَشَاءُ وَتُذِلُّ مَنْ تَشَاءُ And he is the one, he is the one whom, 
whoever he wants whoever he wants he makes respectful and whoever he wants he takes back the respect from he is not respected by the people anymore and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the kingdom of the skies and the earth belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and everything in between the kingdom belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadeer and he has the full power of everything he can make everything happen when this is the case then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may let people may let people hold the kingdoms for some time to test them it is because of the Lord Allah Almighty's test that the kingdom was given to the Pharaoh it is because of the test of the Lord Almighty that the kingdom was given for a short time to Abu Jahl in Makkah al -Mukarramah. but when these people did not obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and did not fulfill the requirements allotted to them required from them by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala announced Hal ataka hadithu Musa have you ever heard the news about Moses Hal ataka hadithu Musa iz nadahu rabbuhu bil wadil muqaddasi tuwa when his lord Allah almighty called him to the sacred valley of Tur izhabira fir'auna innahu tagha then the Lord Almighty announced that O oh Moses the Pharaoh is the disobedient one the Pharaoh is a stubborn one innahu tagha he doesn't obey me Lord Almighty anymore and then the Lord Almighty created the situation where finally the people of Moses were freed from the slavery of the Pharaoh same is the case with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then the Lord Almighty created a situation where finally Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his people were finally migrated to Madinatul Munawwara to a place where finally they were free to live and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala handed over the kingdom later on to Moses Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala handed over the kingdom later on to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam left a rule for us kullukum ra'in wa kullukum mas'ulin anir ra'iyya that every one of you has a kingdom wa kullukum mas'ulin anir ra'iyya and every one of you will be asked about your kingdom so when Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was in Makkah he did not rebel against the leadership of Makkah at that time the leadership of Abu Jahl but Muhammad Rasulullah did not obey him in worshipping the false gods Muhammad Rasulullah did not obey him in defying the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Muhammad Rasulullah did not bury his daughters alive Muhammad Rasulullah did not prostrate to the idols Muhammad Rasulullah did not break the idols inside Kaaba 
either before uh, before uh, the conquer of Makkah al Mukarramah, but Muhammad Rasulullah did not prostrate to idols either. So Muhammad Rasulullah was obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while living in the kingdom of Abu Jahl. Muhammad Rasulullah was obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is not allowed to rebel against any state, either it is a state of kufr, either it is a state of infidels. It is not allowed to rebel against the state, but it is re required, it is required to follow the rules of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala within the state wherever you find the loopholes. If the state does not require you to offer the prayers behind the king, then we are holding this Juma prayer over here, Juma Salatul Juma over here. The state does not collect the, the alms, the state does not collect the zakah. So today we are announcing over here that kullukum ra'in wa kullukum mas'ulin ani ra'iya within this small vicinity to whoever who follows this small khilafah that we have at our homes that we have in our communities that we have over here in our community we will be collecting inshallah zakah unless and until the state does not require you to give zakah to the state so we are requiring not requiring we are suggesting our friends and followers to offer Juma prayer over here and do not offer Juma prayer or any prayer behind any other any other Imam out there either the Imam is appointed by the government or the Imam is like the, there are different Imams on their own around every area. So you cannot offer your Salah, your prayer after any Imam, either he is appointed by the government or not. Because in Nahu Taha they have rebelled against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by not, by not following Imam al-Mahdi, by not accepting Imam al-Mahdi. And this government specifically has started a war against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by, by starting a campaign against Imam al-Mahdi by supporting the voices and, and the mischief makers against Imam al-Mahdi. So this government we will obey the rules as far as there is no Khilafah. We will obey, obey the criminal, criminal acts and other acts of the government and other, other laws. We will not even break the red signal. But wherever the state has loopholes, we will try to establish Khilafah within our vicinity that we would be collecting Zakah and we will be uh, offering Juma prayer, Juma Salah over here and we require, uh, we, we uh, suggest all the people around the world, all the Muslims around the world and all the Muslims within Pakistan to come over here, connect with us that so that we can have this small khilafah over this vicinity because Allah's wrath is falling upon everyone. So we, this, this would be a small gesture from our side that oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we do not follow these false gods. We do not follow these rebels who have rebelled against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We only follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger and
Imam al Mahdi, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our small efforts and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not count us among the rebels. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahabihi wa ali baytihim ajma'in.